Hi, I'm Tim from ZZ Performance. Uh, we do a lot of remote tuning for many of our platforms, and I just want to make a quick video on how this process works. First, let's, uh, let's assume that you rented the laptop and interface from us. Uh, so here is the ZZ Performance rental laptop. You will open up the laptop. If you rented it from us, the password is going to be supercharger. Make sure it's fully charged. Now it is time to read your stock PCM file. We do this for multiple reasons. Um, primarily though, the car's been running and driving with this PCM file, so obviously it's correct. Uh, you, you never really know, like the, the car could have stuff done to it that you don't know. So if you just upload a file over it and you have a different gear ratio or something wild like that, you, you could be chasing a problem that's rather difficult to diagnose. So you have the laptop, it's on the desktop opening screen. Now you will go down here to the little wrench icon, which is the VCM editor. You'll click that once. Now the, the editing software is open. You will now go here to the top and you will click read vehicle. Okay. Now that you have the window open, it's ready to read. Now you need to make sure the car is ready to be read. So this car, is a 2016 Camaro, so it is push button start. If you have a key, you just simply put the key in the ignition, turn it two clicks forward to ignition, your gauges will light up and you're ready to go. On a push button start car, you just do not push the brake pedal. You just hold the start button for enough seconds to have the gauges light up, okay? So generally around five seconds or so. Now that the car is completely powered up, the VCM is ready to be read. VCM, we use that term because if the car has an ECM, that's the engine control unit. If the car has a automatic transmission, then you'll have a transmission control unit. So when you say VCM, it just covers both of them. So now you go back to your editing software and click read. Now it pulls up all of the different modules that it can read. For this one, we're just going to read the ECM. So I'm going to say for TCM, do not read. Uh, and this has the fuel control computer. We're, gonna, we're not going to read that either. So we'll just select do not read. If, uh, if you have an automatic transmission car, definitely read the TCM as well because we modified both. Um, and if we tell you, then read the fuel computer, but most of the time we do not. The read times vary differently based on vehicle. This vehicle is going to take about four minutes. Okay, at this point, your file has been read. Now it's time to email us. We're going to save this to the desktop. So default, it just goes to the file name. We're just going to call it Tyler stock, even though this file is not stock, but we're going to go to desktop. Now this, at this point, I would save it as your last name stock. Uh, that makes it easier on your tuner to know whose file he's working on. So I'm going to select desktop. I typed in the name of the file. And now I'm going to click save. At this point, you've read your file, you've saved your file, and it's time to email your tuner the file. That's going to be Matt, myself, or Al. Log on to your email account through the laptop from us, and then you will attach the file that you read to that email to us, and then send it. You know, when we're done modifying the file, you will get the file back from us through email. You'll save it to your computer, uh, usually it will default go to the downloads folder, but uh, otherwise you can select desktop now. Let's assume that you are ready to go. You will want to write the PCM, so you'll click VCM editor again, the little wrench. Now you need to locate the file from us. So you click file, open and let's say desktop or downloads. It depends on where you save the file to. 
say desktop, Tyler Stock. In this case, usually we'll just rename it like your last name A or it'll have some mods listed in the name and then A, something along those lines. Find your file, click open. Now the editing software is open, your file is open, it's ready to flash the car. At this point, you're going to go back through the procedure in the car of you know, turning the ignition on but not having the car running and you will go here to right vehicle. It pops up this little window, right calibration is completely fine and you'll click right. You know, on some vehicles, there will be more than one thing showing there. You don't have to change any of those. You just click right vehicle because whatever is modified will flash over it. Generally, the right will take a minute. If we're also writing the TCM, it may double that time. Right completed. So at this point, you have read your stock PCM file. You've emailed it to us. We've modified it, uh, sent it back to you, and you've written it to your car. At this point now, you can start the car and drive the car. However, you know, since you wanna take full advantage of the remote tuning experience, um, this is the next part that's nice about HP tuners. Let's close this window. Let's close the editing software as well. And now let's go to the VCM scanner, the little lightning bolt. Click that, a couple seconds later, here's your scanning software. Okay, uh, generally when we email customers files, we'll also send them a channel configuration. That is all of the data that we need to make adjustments to the PCM. Let's walk you through changing the channel configuration. So for that, you'll click this thing right here called recent channel configs and then you'll move to open channel config. At this point, you'll need to locate the channel that we sent you. Uh, generally, like I said before, it'll be in the downloads folder. Otherwise, this one auto opened up where we save our channels. For this car, it's an LTG Camaro, so I'm gonna select LTG channels. Click open, boom. Pulls up all the channels that we need. Now, at this point, you will go to your car, you will uh, plug your cords in, you'll start the car. Uh, for this video, I'm not gonna start the car, but the key is still on. So I'm just going to show you how to start a scan. Go to the little red record button that says start scanning. Click that. At this point now, it's figuring out what car it is. It's looking for all the channels that it needs you are scanning right now. Obviously these are all zeros because the car is not running, but um, if, those are, if those have data in them and they're changing, that means you are scanning. So at this point, you will take the car out and you'll drive it. Uh, generally what I like is, I like the car to be at full running temperature. So let's say you start and run the car for five minutes before scanning and then you just take it out and drive it. Drive it normal like for a few minutes, just do a few normal accelerations. That gives us data like fuel trims so we can make adjustments there. That gives us a chance to make sure that all your sensors are reporting properly. After you've done that for a few minutes, the engine's up to good running temperature and it's you know safe to floor it. I would punch it for one gear. One common problem is uh, people don't completely floor their car. Like, hey, you know, we're all into performance. Make sure to push that pedal all the way to the floor. Uh, that'll give us the best data. Uh, on the first scan, I would say just do it for one full gear, one gear of full throttle, maybe one shift, and then let off and then stop your scanner. I'll walk you through that right now. Let's say we're done driving. We pulled over, we're safe. We weren't looking at the laptop while driving. Keep your eyes on the road, please. Now you're going to click stop scanning. Boom, at this point, the scanner, all the data is there. Now we need to save this. So it's in a format that can be emailed. You go up here, the little save icon, save log file as. Click that, pops up a window. Let's put um, Tyler one, that'll work. 
save. You will locate that file, log into your email, attach that to the email, email that to your tuner, Al, Matt, or myself. And we will then review that scan and then make adjustments to the file and send you a modified file. Uh, please do us a favor and do not modify your file at all. Uh, we are assuming that uh, the scan is for the exact file that we sent you. And if you're in there changing stuff, it's really gonna make it hard for us to tune your car. If you have any special requests, feel free to say, hey, you know, I would like my part throttle shift points adjusted or, you know, or, or something along those lines. And, and we can do that for you. But um, we always, we need to know what file is on the car so we know how to properly adjust it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, we may go a couple, a couple more times you know, we'll send you a new file that's modified. You'll send us a new scan that's modified. Maybe on the second scan, go through two or three gears of full throttle so we have good full throttle data and we can really dial it in. But uh, that is pretty much the remote tuning experience. It's very easy and it is the best tune that you can possibly have. This is way better than a mail order tune or a tune you receive on a PCM and just plug it in your car and, and beat on your car. This is tuned specifically to your vehicle, your fuel, your mods. Again, I'm Tim from ZZ Performance. Thank you for watching.